Okay, good morning, uh, guys. Uh, I'm <laughs> a glutton for punishment. I come back up Evesham. Um, this is my fourth match now. Um, I've only picked up once in uh, four times. So, uh, as I said, it's a love-hate relationship with Evesham. Um, unfortunately, it's, uh, it is about the draws. And if you ever look at the result board, you'll see the same pegs coming up every time. Uh, on the odd occasion, you get the odd um, weight come up. Um, Peg 71, for example, uh, which I had the other week, um, when you had one eel off it, last week he had seven pounds, so you just never know. Um, anyway, I'm nice and early. Uh, it's a bit um, overcast and uh, supposed to be sunshine and showers um, and breezy, so hmm, don't look too good as far as the weather's concerned. Um, I'm going to go and do the draw now, and let's see what I've drawn, and um, uh, let's see if I can give a better <laughs> position with the camera this time, so you can see what I'm doing a bit more, and I'll try and explain a little bit as well what I'm doing. So anyway, anyway, it's another match, another day. You take your chance, you put your money in, you take the draw, and that's it. Okay, see you in a bit. I didn't, I didn't film the uh, the draw. Uh, one of the worst pegs on you to get, 73. So, anyway, since I, so I've been here and I've had 71, 68, 73. And then, of course, 45 uh, last week. So, they're not the best pegs. Just um, uh, my luck's out, unfortunately, at uh, on the Welsh Raven. But there you are. Give it a go. See what happens. Um, hemp fish might come on. 73, very, very deep. Some um, normally eels, or uh, um, that's about it, I think. Um, anyway, see you done it. Well, the situation gets bad to worse. I got a guy opposite me now, fishing, and he's actually uh, just landed a fish. So that was going to be one of my attacks over there against the bush. And now he's fishing, and uh, basically he's messed it all up for my swim now over there. So all I can do is fish on the inside. <laughs> there you go. That's my luck. And that's how it's... I suppose it's just one of them things. Well, he's packing up and he's putting... Okay, the match started. <clears throat> Let me just get myself sorted. <laughs> all right. Now there was a guy fishing opposite earlier, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a feed across where he was fishing, just in case there's some fish still feeding. So I'll put a single maggot on to begin with. <coughs> right over by that boat he was. So what I'll do, let's put this across and see what happens. All right, it's just by there. All right, now, <clears throat> it's worth a chuck because as I said, he, he put back uh, about three, four pound of fish. Uh, apparently they come during the night, early, uh, late evening or early morning, and they uh, bait it up and then they fish it, opposite. So you never know. Right. <clears throat> Just got stuck on that something then. Oh, maggot's gone. Hmm. Try again. Try that again now, see what happens. As I say, come back. Uh, no maggot on, man. Now, my tactic today, after this initial go, is... Um, 
hemp. Just bring it back a little bit. Right. So what I'll be doing, I'll be feeding, uh, like I've done last time down here, which is just a couple of rod lengths out on the stick float. And um, looking for maybe some perch. Hopefully, we'll see anyway. N and then, my hemp line, which will be Right, I'll give it a half hour on the feeder, so I'm just trying the maggot now on the inside. A bit of awkward downstream wind here. Bite on a drop then. Little bleak or something.
Yeah, what I don't understand about these pegs is that they're so close, you know, every peg. You know, if you had um, every other peg, it'd probably be a little bit better.
Okay, um, two hours into the match and I've just started uh, on the pole now, see if there's any fish on the hemp. Uh, I had a couple of perch on the stick and, a, and another little roach, but um, that was about it then. So just trying um, the pole now, see what happens. Winds of blood, a nuisance point. Can't get the right presentation. Okay, I'll carry on. Speak to you later. Ah, it's turned out nice now. <laughs> it's the end of the match. Um, well, you saw more of this all day. Um, I had a couple of roach on the stick float, um, only small things, and then right to death, I had, a, a, had three or four on the hemp, um, and that was it. Then I had some bleak on the waggler. And then um, nothing on the feeder, really, only that little chublet right at the very beginning. Um, and that was it. Uh, but then, saying that, he's, he's admitting to about a pound below me and uh, uh, a pound on the end peg. So, you know, um, you know we'll see. We'll have to weigh in and see if uh, are we done in the section. <laughs> that's, all, that's all we can hope for today. But otherwise, you know, it's, as I say, it's one of them venues that, um, you know, if you're on them, you have a good day's fishing. And if you're, um, if you're not, then you struggle. But, you know, there's always fish here to be caught, um, even though, uh, you know, you're not looking at big weights. Um, as I say, it does attract um, 
a lot of anglers, uh, you know, I think there's 50 or 60 today. And, uh, you know, when you consider there's a, the river fest on the, on the Trent today as well, 80 odd pegs, and the matchup on the seven. So, you know, it still attracts a lot of people, yeah. Anyway, so anyway, um, that's about it. So uh, tomorrow I'm on the River Fest, um, first this year, on the Bristlaven, and I've um, been unlucky. Three matches on the Bristlaven, uh, missing out just on ounces. But again, that's um, you know, if you're on the bream, you're laughing. If you're not, you're, you're struggling for like you know a few pounds on the bits, you know, on the on the waggler and that, and on the pole. But um, that's tomorrow. Let's wait in to see, to see what we've done today. We've got Lee Gardner, who's a yes, peg above me, but he's in the other section. And it looks like he's a section and winner again. Yes. Well, yeah. oh, look at the size of that peg. <laughs> yeah. That's the same appealing. Two pound nine. Ah, there you are. He always does it. <laughs> yeah, well, he's won that section. <laughs> What's Mr. Branson got then? Yes, please, boy. When there's only Clive and George, there's only three, three in the section. Oh, there, you yeah? He's a team member, so I don't mind so much. <laughs> All right, then.